Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part three of our video series testing petrol brands for their octane rating. You join me on yet another cold evening, this time at a Texaco garage in Lechlade. Texaco Super Unleaded or Supreme brand has been the only one I've been able to find in my sort of local area uh, that has any ethanol content in it at all. I'd imagine it only has one uh, lorry doing its delivery, so if some ethanol makes its way into the uh, Super Unleaded brand. And we have tested the standard petrol that they do, which is E6, and the Super Unleaded they have is uh, 2.5, so E2.5. We're also going to be taking a look at an E7, 7% ethanol is the highest amount I found in a breeze petrol to see what happens when you extract the ethanol from the fuel and how much octane you have left uh, to know how much you have to actually boost it by by using an octane booster. Obviously we won't be able to determine whether the 97 octane is truly 97 because with ethanol present in the fuel uh, it will give a, a false reading, it just reads uh, 110 octane uh, when there's ethanol present. Uh, once I've removed that amount, it might be possible to work out um, how much of an octane booster you need to add to bring it to the same and thus get a uh, reading that way, but it's uh, a little arbitrary. So, let's find out. So this is the E10, but that's really 7% ethanol breeze petrol, which has had the ethanol extracted from it. I've had to do two water freeze cycles. Uh, to make sure all the ethanol was out of it because uh, I've only got this smaller test tube and a couple of fuel cans with me. Uh, fortunately I did have some deionized water here to use to flush this through, so there's no mains water here. And so now we're going to see what uh, AKI this measures. Um, obviously we can convert that to uh, ROM, regional octane number, so they're, they're different measurements. So this is supposed to be 95 ROM. Uh, with the ethanol in there. Now the ethanol has been extracted, we'll obviously see a, a lower number, but because it's an AKI it will be a, quite a bit lower than what the ROM number will be. So it's 88 octane in AKI, I think. Uh, so to convert, oh, 89, oh, so it's between 88 and 89 then. Oh, okay, back to 88. But in any case, 88 to 89 is going to be about 91 to 92 RON. So of course you would need an octane booster to make up the shortfall to run on most cars. That would be, yeah, we're flicking between 88 and 89. You need to use an octane booster. You shouldn't run this in a car because you, uh, uh, unless you retard the timing so much, so it doesn't predetonate or pink at all in your car. But then you could be losing so much power. Ooh. I'll have to get a table to convert this because I thought this tester was actually going to be in Ron because I thought uh, Russia used uh, Ron like we do in uh, England and most of Europe, I think. Um, but yeah, we can do a conversion table. That's no problem. This is probably the best one I've found as some of the conversions between AKI and RON are completely off. This guy's formula is the most consistent when going uh, to and from AKI, but sadly his spelling is not so good. Reversing that for Romula, wet get. Anyway, the 88 to 89 of the ethanol remove sample is somewhere in the 92 to 93 RON area. But as I'm about to demonstrate, now that I've played around with the octane tester and found out how to display in RON, it could be slightly over-reading in its USA AKI mode. Now we're on to the Texaco Supreme 97. Let's first see what the reader says. Oh, it's reading 103 this time, with the small amount of ethanol. It's still pretty much a meaningless figure, as this reader does not read the octane of ethanol, but it's interesting how it's still a lower value than the 110 max value we get from the 5-7% ethanol in our so-called E10. I did actually retest to see how much ethanol we have in the Texaco 97 uh, to make sure it's as my uh, previous video uh, showed for it at 2.5%. I was even going to do a separate Texaco Supreme re revisited uh, test video, but unfortunately I don't have any facilities to do so at the moment. There doesn't seem to be a single level service anywhere that I can safely and practically be playing about with petrol. There's definitely ethanol present, not only from the high reading on the octane tester, but you can clearly uh, 
tell or see the telltale froth of the ethanol passing into the water and the level has risen above the 300 milliliter mark even on the slight slant we can gauge this as somewhere between two and two and a half percent if you haven't already please check my previous videos where i have a playlist testing several fuel brands for ethanol content as well as demonstrations of this methodology i managed to get the reader to display in ron this is now a sample of Texaco Supreme, but with the 2.5% ethanol removed, like the previous so-called E10. It consistently reads 95 RON here, but weirdly drops to 94 RON using exactly the same fuel taken from where I mixed it uh, with water. Perhaps just a tiny residue of water could have been left to settle out of the second sample, and given the higher reading on the former, I can only speculate. I'll do this as a comparison, but it's a pain to switch between the values. The AKI reading is consistently 89, which is unexpectedly low to be honest, given that the last sample of a supposedly 95 octane E10 petrol with ethanol extracted was reading 88 to 89 AKI. You'd think it would be lower given the higher amount of octane boosting ethanol was removed and the latter sample of uh, Texaco Supreme should have additives to boost the octane beyond that of its 2.5% ethanol. If we go back to the formula wet get table, as I'll be calling it, we can see the octane tester gives a higher value to RON when converted from AKI. I think it would be fair to retest uh, Part 2's SO Synergy Supreme to see what the tester directly reads in RON, and some people have told me that several factors can make a petrol lose its octane, especially if the fuel was stored uh, for a couple of months. The reversed formula wet get doesn't list as many conversions, but using the formula we can work out the 94 octane reading as 89.7 AKI. But in future we'll look to test these samples in RON to save conversion and given it will be the Russian tester's native unit it could well be better calibrated to it also. Please subscribe if you haven't already and a massive thank you to those of you who have done. I may even get to 350 subs by the end of the year which would be awesome. Join me in the next video that I hope to be the channel's Christmas Day special where I'll be testing Shell V power for Octane as well as the six monthly tests to make sure that SO and Shell super unleaded still remain ethanol free in most parts of the UK. Until then, thanks very much for watching.